Hey everyone, in one of my last videos I had mentioned the possibility of 3D sketches in Creo in relation to sweeps and swept blends, so I kind of wanted to dive back into that a little bit. Um, so I checked, you can do 3D sketches in Creo. There's a couple ways to do it. Um, I'll go over them shortly. Uh, first, you can input a bunch of different points, um, XYZ coordinates, I think you can also do polar or spherical coordinates and then connect those with lines and rounds. Uh, the other way is to use an equation to come up with a line or a trajectory, like we, instead of just sketching, like I did in the other video. Um, for this little spring part that I've drawn here, I used a line uh, from an equation and then swept through that, so I'll go over how to do that. So I'll go here and start a fresh part. 3D Spring. Hit OK. So standard new part here. And then to create the line from the equation, we'll go over here to datum, curve, curve from equation. Uh, so then in this section here you can see Cartesian cylindrical or spherical um, here's where you edit your equation and then here is the parametric parameters or like time for a parametric equation for those of you that haven't taken any calculus classes this is the number that gets plugged into the equations um, that we're about to create to create the points along the trajectory so first it's asking for a reference, so we'll hit this coordinate system here. Now we have a reference, and we can go in here and create an equation. So to create the equation of a spring, I'll type that in here and then explain that here in a second. So I've got this equation here now. We've got our equation for our x values, our equation for our y values, and our equation for our z values. I have a zero in here. I'll explain that in a second. So for x here, the equation is 10 times cosine of t times 360. So basically what I'm trying to do here is create the equation of a circle. But then to create a spring, you want to create an equation of a circle that travels through z distance. Um, to get the different rings that go around all the way up to the top. So if I just left it at uh, z equals 0, you'll see here that we just have a circle. Um, so in order to get the spring, I'll have to go back in here and then make z a function of time. So I'll just go in here and make it 10 times t. Uh, the coefficient of 10 here uh, just determines the overall size of the shape or the spring or the circle or whatever in this case. Um, and what's inside the sines and cosines is what makes the circle the circle. So I'll hit OK again. And now you can see we've got something that kind of is starting to look like a spring, like I said, where the circle is traveling through time. So in order to make the spring longer, you can go up here. Um, change the time from 0 to, let's go 10, I'll make it a little bit longer. So, kind of an example is the time is, tr or the spring is traveling through time for about 10 seconds. This equation creates this spring. So we'll click OK. And now we've got our trajectory, like I had talked about in the sweep videos. So then we can go here to sweep click on our trajectory, edit our section, and for a spring, I'm just going to do a simple circle. That 10, going hard with the 10s today. I'll click OK. Oof. Okay, so that's a pretty thick spring, so I'll go back in here and I can change that back down to 5. Okay. And that looks a little better. Now you have your spring. So, the possibilities are basically endless with that function. Uh, you can go online, find 
equations for a lot of different types of lines. I just thought I'd use this as a quick example and something that could be practical in some of your projects. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and keep on making more videos. Thank you.